It was the Christmas present nobody asked for, a cyclone watch in the NT and Western Australia. We're currently expecting that this system um, will develop to a Category 1 cyclone, which will see um, sustained winds of um, 89 to 117 kilometres an hour, but you could see wind gusts upwards of 150 kilometres an hour. Authorities have issued the watch alert for a large stretch of coast in the northwest top end, covering communities between Point Stewart in the NT all the way to Columbaroo in WA. They say there's a chance of a cyclone nearing Darwin on Monday. It is a timely reminder. Cyclone Tracy devastated um, Darwin in 1974 on Christmas Eve. Um, and here we are again faced with a significant weather event on Christmas Eve. Damaging winds of up to 100 kilometres per hour are expected from tomorrow night on Christmas Day. Authorities are urging those in the watch zones to prepare their cyclone kits. Now is the time to prepare your uh, family home, your emergency kit, and understand and know where you're going to shelter. Darwin shoppers say they've started filling their trolleys with emergency items and long-life food alongside the Christmas ham. Look, in terms of a cyclone coming, bring it. You know, we've got plenty of food, lots of bubbles, lots of food. So, yeah, yeah, no issues. Only just got the news, but more focus on tomorrow. So, classic cyclone Tracy syndrome, I suspect. I mean, like, we've been in lockdown for however many months back down in Sydney, so uh, we're kind of accustomed to... Um, you know, locking down and making the most of a bunch of pasta and all sorts of things. Emergency services say in spite of the possible threat, they're not panicked. We're not worried. We've got faith in the general public, the Darwin public, to do the right thing, but we're encouraging people to pay attention to the weather, keep updated and stay safe over this period. It's a message those in the north have heard many times before as a wild and wet Christmas approaches. Samantha Dick, ABC News, Darwin.